Hello everyone, this is Miss Sydney from Peters Township Public Library and today for STEM Saturday we're going to be talking about water displacement. So what is water displacement? Let's do a little experiment to see. Over here I had a container of water filled to the brim and I have five bananas. Let's put the bananas into our water container and see what happens. What do you think might happen? Do you think anything will change with the banana? Do you think anything will change with the water? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What happened every time we put another banana in? More water came out, didn't it? That water was displaced. A banana, just like you and me, takes up space. It has volume. So whenever the banana went into the water, that water had to move to make room for the banana. The water, since the water container was full to the top, there was no place else for the water to go except for out of the container. So let's take all of our bananas out and see what happens to our water level now. One, two, three, four, five. Is our water level still at the very top like it was when we started? No, it's come down some, hasn't it? That water was displaced earlier and came out of the container, so it can't get back in on its own. Whenever we put another banana in, we see the water level go up a little bit. And whenever we take that banana out, we see the water level go down. So water displacement is whenever you put something into a liquid and the liquid has to move to make room for it. It's called water displacement, but it's not just for water, it's for all liquids. So think about whenever you take a bath. Whenever you get in the bathtub, what happens to the water level? It goes up a little bit. And whenever you get out of the bathtub, what happens? that water level goes back down. The same thing happened with our bananas today. So thanks for joining us for STEM Saturday for an easy experiment about water displacement. Now go displace some of your own water. Bye.